Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to follow our trades over here at Ether, where you also can copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did fall um, in the beginning of the, of the session and then we rallied uh, a little bit. At this current stage, it looks like we are finding um, a bottom here in this uh, in, the, in the US dollar index. It has been falling quite significantly all the way from 93.37 all the way down towards 90.80. We are getting in the air. Uh, we're approaching oversold conditions. Uh, Technically, are slowly turning around. So this could actually be the bottom uh, and we could see this rally back towards the upside. We must that find resistant here at 91.56 at a 50 moving average and also the uh, 20 and the 200 moving average. So let's look at oil. So oil has a pullback towards the 50 moving average. We tested it yesterday and bounced from the 50 and uh, nothing really happened today. Technically, they are fairly mixed, but they are more bearish than they are bullish. So uh, the 50 moving average will offer significant support. If that breaks, then we could drop all the way down to the very bottom here at 57. I don't really see that happening at this current stage. If we bounce yet again, then we could head back towards these previous highs at 63.92. And beyond that, we can head all the way back towards 67. But that is to be seen whether or not the 50 moving average holds. So let's look at natural gas. So it looks like we are running into uh, resistance here at 2.8036. And now we're about to turn around and head back towards the 50 moving average. We are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average, and that is additional uh, bullish uh, momentum. So if we pull back from here and the 20 exponential basically acts as uh, support, then we could see this bounce and head even higher. But that is to be seen. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this as well, and we can see that we are we are right at the 50. So the 61.8 is up here at the 2.85, and that should offer significant, um, significant resistance if we are to get up to those levels. You can look at the technical technical indicators. They are basically still, they're still fairly bullish, but they are turning around. So they are leveling off, indicating that that momentum to the upside is stalling and that we could go back at this point or have a pullback at this current stage. So let's look at copper. So copper as well, uh, very similar here. We were way outside of the bullish band for four consecutive days. And uh, now we're seeing basically this leveling off and heading back towards the 20 exponential at the uh, 4.11 or probably the 50 moving average down here at the 4.05. Technical indicators are, yeah, they are turning around or they are basically flat. So we were got way ahead of ourselves. And at this current stage, we basically just need a pullback before going higher. It doesn't look like we're going to break the 50 moving average as every single time we get close to the 50 moving average, we basically rally to the upside. So let's look at gold. So gold is... Uh, well, fairly bullish today. So we can see that we have a crossing here at the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. We haven't actually seen that since uh, all the way back here in the beginning of February when we started breaking down. So this is a bullish indication that could see gold go and test the 1800 and probably all the way up to the 200 moving average here at 1855. Technical indicators are fairly flat at this current stage. It's only the MACD that is very bullish. So pullbacks from here will most likely find major support at 1750. Um, and uh, we'll most likely find the major resistance here at the 1800. Um, so we'll probably see a pullback when we get to eight, towards 1800. So let's look at silver. So silver has run into resistance here at the 50 moving average. We have tested it several times and we have not been able to 
basically it's trend above the 50 moving average. You're also at the top of the bullish band, so that also it comes into effect. We are basically stuck in between the 50 and the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. There is, uh, we need to basically break above the 50 in order to go higher, and we need to break below the 200 in order to go lower. So uh, before that happens, it is uh, technically just a complete gamble to, to guess where this is technically going. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has broken down. We got to towards uh, 12, 25, uh, 27, and then we broke down and trend in underneath the 20 exponential moving average, right at the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators are turning around, so momentum is to the downside. If this breaks, then we could head back towards these previous lows at 11.53, and that is probably where uh, we'll find major support. Rallies from here will most likely find major resistance up at 12.30. Nine. So let's look at pallium. So this, um, yes, it got way ahead of itself and uh, is starting to pull back, which was basically expected. We most likely fall back towards these previous highs here. We'll have the 20 exponential move in this direction, and the previous highs is around uh, 2695. Technical indicators are all turning around. We were significantly overstretched and also overbought. And when that occurs, you always, nearly always have a pullback towards the middle or even the bottom. But the middle of the bullish band has been holding uh, really nicely. We can see that we bounced here and so on. And it looks like we can just can continue in that same fashion. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium, uh, yet again, is uh, rallying up towards the top of the bullish band, uh, basically getting outside, and then we're pulling back. So it's just a continuation of the same trend that we have been seeing uh, for a really long time now, where we have been rallying, pulling back, rallying, pulling back, and so on. And at this current stage, we'll probably uh, break down towards 2,253. Technical indicators are all turning around. The MACD is almost crossing the signal line. Otherwise, other, other technical indicators are uh, have bearish momentum at this current stage. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has uh, broken down towards the 200 moving average, and now it looks like we are we are basically really testing the 200 moving average. If that breaks, then we could head all the way down to 15,000. If we rally towards the upside, we'll most likely find major resistance at the 20 exponential at 16,237 and the top of the bullish band at 16,687. Technical indicators are favoring the downside. So we basically also need a clear indication here where we are going, otherwise to the upside or towards the downside. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has, uh, well, broke down yesterday and then rallied yet again today. We are still outside of the bullish band and pullbacks could be expected at this current stage. We're also approaching overbought territory as we have been rallying all the way from the bottom here. So 50 moving average will most likely be the bottom. We'll have the crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average within probably one day or two. And that will also be additional bullish um, signal. So. Target here will most likely be uh, 0 0.1750. Uh, if we were to break down from here, then it will probably bounce off the 20 exponential. If the 20 exponential breaks, then that could open the door to these previous lows. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish. So let's look at cotton. So cotton got rejected at the 50 moving average, and now we're just stuck in between the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. Um, it kind of favors the downside as we got fairly rejected at the 50 and we did not even manage to break above the 50. We also have the top of the bullish band here. So we could see this drop towards the middle of the bullish band at 0 0.80. If that breaks, then we could head all the way down towards the very bottom again at 0 0.77. Tech indicators, they are fairly all over the place. So, and so yeah, it is just a waiting game because it's not really clear where this is technically going. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa just absolutely fell off a cliff today. So we got to the very top of the of the 
of the range and then just broke down. We are heading towards the middle of the bullish band. We're trading at 24 at 22. Technical indicators, most of them are turning around, have become bearish. The MACD is also kind of flat at this current, current stage. So if you break below the middle of the bullish band, then we could basically head back towards this, this very bottom. I haven't traded this for a really long time. The main reason is that it has been absolutely horrible to trade. It was very predictable here when we rallied and then also broke down. But since then, it has been extremely choppy and I've just stayed far away from trading cocoa. So let's look at wheat. So as you can see, we did rally significantly all the way up to the previous highs here at 677 and then just completely collapsed. So it still looks like we are going to continue to the upside. This, this was just an absolute enormous rally today, but we, had, we can see that the 20 exponential and the 50 are most likely going to cross. And that is a, a bullish sign. So we could see this pull back towards the 50 or 20 exponential and then continue rallying towards the upside. Um, but technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bearish, and the MACD is bullish. So um, pullback, if we basically find support at the 20 exponential, that could be a sign that this will continue to the upside. If that breaks, then we could head all the way back towards the very bottom. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at eToro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.